Welcome to the practice questions on being able to find the area of a circle by using the formula area equals pi r squared. What I'd like you to do now is to pause the video and have a go at these three questions and then when you're happy with your answers then restart the video and go through the model answers with me. So pause the video now and have a go at questions one, two and three. Hi, welcome back. Let's now go through these three videos, uh, these three questions, sorry, together. Question one then. We've got a radius of seven. So this is very straightforward. We can just replace our radius and our value for pi into our formula here. So if I write down the area is going to equal pi, well I write 3.14, times the radius which is seven squared. So it's just a case here of typing this into your calculator. If you're using a scientific calculator, um, this will apply uh, bid mass and it will do the 7 squared first and then times it by pi. If you weren't using a scientific calculator, you would have to do the 7 squared first, type in 7 squared, then times your answer by 3.14. So if we do that, th type in pi times... 7 squared, and we get an answer here of 153.938938. Now to one decimal place, that's going to be 153.9, and because it's an area, the units to this are centimetres squared. Question 2 then, exactly the same procedure here. We've got our area, and this time we're going to type in pi, 3.14, times, this time it's got a radius of 3, so we type in 3 squared. So type that in your calculator, area equals pi times 3 squared, and we get an answer this time of 28.2, 28.2, seven and that continues on so to one decimal place our area is going to be 28.3 and the units centimeters squared last one here a little bit different because it gives us the diameter now you can't just use the diameter and put it into the formula for the radius because it's not the same thing. We need to find this distance here which is the radius. So what we need to do is, well you need to know that the radius is half of the diameter. Half the diameter is 10. So our radius for this question that we're going to put into our formula is going to be 10. So here if we write this down the formula is going to be the area equals again pi, which is 3.14, times the radius, which in this case is 10 squared. And if we type that in a calculator, we get 3.14 pi times 10 squared is going to give us an answer of, well it gives us 314, and then we've got 0.1 314.15 and that continues on so rounding that to one decimal place gives us 314.2 centimeters squared 